Hi everyone, and welcome to my POV, where we allow you to see and experience the great parts of the city while learning about the local culture from the people who actually live here. I'm your host, I'm Ella, and I'm representing New York City. And today we're going to do a pancake crawl. It's kind of rainy and dreary here today, so these pancakes are going to be so perfect. Let's go. So we're here at Raul's, which is over in Washington Square Park area. We took the F train and we got off at the West 4th stop. And then this was about a 10 minute walk from the station. We got this apple um, toffee pancake, souffle pancake. It comes in, it was kind of like, you can see here, it's really thick. And it comes with these apples sort of caramelized and baked on with this like creme fraiche on top which was so delicious it kind of spills over the whole pancake it's very light and easy to eat i think the whole thing it's not too heavy it's not too sweet it's very balanced because the apples are like a little bit more sour and then the creme fraiche is kind of that sweetener on top you definitely don't need like maple syrup or anything for this um this was really delicious. I will say that it takes about 30 minutes for the pancake to come out because it is made to order, which means it's super hot when it comes out. It was hard to take the first bite, but well worth it, I would say, because it is so fresh and so light and airy. This was delicious. Um, we'll show you a shot of the menu so you can see what else they have to offer here for brunch. But this pancake was $26, a little steep for a pancake, but let me know what you guys think about paying that much for a pancake below. Um, we also got here right when they open at 11 on the weekends and we were seated at the bar immediately. I would recommend trying to make a reservation though if you have more than two people or if you're not gonna be able to get here right when they open. But yeah. So now that we're out of there, I just wanna cover a few more things basically. Like I said, the pancake was $26. Now this only includes one pancake and you saw the size, it's a decent size, but it's a really light pancake. So I would say that, I mean, really the pancake's only for one person and you might still be hungry after you eat it a little bit. So keep that in mind before you go there. It might be more of like a dessert pancake as well because it was pretty sweet. And you know, it's not got that like kind of crispy edge that you would typically see in like a breakfast pancake with maple syrup. Partially, I think that's because it is a souffle pancake, so like it's very light, kind of jiggly, more fluffy, so it's not like cooked as crispy on the edges. But those are just things for you to keep in mind before you go there. And if you do go there, let me know what you thought about it. You know, is that what you prefer? Do you like regular pancakes better than that? I'm interested to hear how everyone feels about this.
just finished at Fosetta and we just had probably the most amazing pancake of our lives. Honestly, that was so good. We got the apple butter pancake, which comes in, it's sort of like a big circular pancake. It was incredible. It had a very crisp outer edge. The inside was uh, fluffy, a little bit dense. It was similar kind of to like a cornbread texture. It made for an incredibly delicious pancake. I know that I'm like delicious, but it really was so delicious. On top, it had a bunch of butter and a homemade apple butter as well, which was perfect. And it came with a side of maple syrup. This pancake, I would say, is on the sweeter side because of the apple butter, but you had the option to also get berries or bacon on the pancake, so you could sort of customize it to what you want. This pancake was also only 16 bucks, so with tip and tax, it came out to around $20, which is a lot cheaper than the last pancake we had. Uh, and we made a reservation online for this place, which I would recommend doing. It's not too packed, and they have a patio, like you can see behind me, but you can make reservations online at resi, which is R-E-S-Y dot com. And for a lot of these places, I would recommend doing that because New York gets busy, especially on a Sunday. But let's go to the next place. So we just finished up at the Golden Diner where we got two of their honey butter pancakes. These were really delicious pancakes and it was $16 for two, so it's the perfect amount to share with someone. These pancakes were really light and fluffy. The inside was like a little bit sort of moist. I think probably because of the butter, it really pools around the edges of the pancake and even drips down into the middle, really baking in that butter flavor. It was very, very strong butter flavor, which I really liked to be honest, but if you're not a fan of that flavor, I would caution you here because that is very overpowering in this pancake. The environment was good, what I would recommend for this place, because it is a pretty popular spot, is come ahead, ask for a reservation, like, or not a reservation, sorry, ask to put your name on the wait list and see if they can push you out about two hours. Go do something else, and then when your table is ready, come back. There's a lot of little cafes over here that you could check out, so it's sort of the perfect environment. That way you're not just sitting around waiting. That's what we did. We came this morning, we put our names in, we asked them to push us out two hours, and then we went to the other places on this pancake crawl. That way we had something to do throughout the wait time, which I would recommend. I think that was really good. Overall, we really loved this pancake place. It was delicious, and I think our rankings, we're going to put Facetta first, then this place, and then Raul's. Let me know if you guys agree, if you disagree, if you do this. I would love to hear about it and hear what you thought about these pancakes too. Hey guys, thank you so much for coming with us today. I know that I had a great time and I really enjoyed tasting all of those pancakes. And I hope that this was fun for you guys to watch too. If you enjoyed it, give it a like, subscribe. We have a bunch of other hosts in different cities. If this is the kind of content you love to watch, let us know. Also, let me know what you wanna see next. We're definitely taking suggestions and I would love to hear feedback from you guys. Most importantly though, don't forget to subscribe and like the Fuame Network where we bring you the best original local content 
where you work, live, and play. Have a great day, guys. Thanks so much for watching.